support of our long history of giving back, we will be making seven donations of $7,070 to South Florida Charities. We have been fortunate to earn the support of our members and the community. We wanted to show our appreciation by donating to some fellow nonprofits that are doing amazing work. We don't forget our roots and we strive to pay it forward. From the office in Miami to the uh, office, the headquarters here in Pembroke Pines, we owe our success to the employees, management, and to the board of directors, past and present, and to the members that have uh, been with us throughout those 70 years. Our financial credit union looks forward to serving members and their families for another 70 years. Thank you. So the big term these days is disruptors and, and uh, Uber is a disruptor. But when you think about it, truly credit unions were the original disruptors in the financial service industry in 1934. Before it had only been for-profit stock held banks. And after the depression, many people couldn't get credit at the banks. So FDR signed this to help people of smaller means. It actually says that in the Federal Credit Union Act in order to get credit. So we really are the critical role providing uh, another choice or an alternative to for-profit banks. From humble beginnings 70 years ago, Power Financial Credit Union has flourished into a modern, full-service financial institution with nearly a billion dollars in assets. A billion dollars in assets. Serving almost 35,000 members and growing in 13 counties across Florida. Whereas Power Financial Credit Union is driven by its purpose to help guide its members to better financial lives today and for generations to come. Speak. The word is right in front of you. S-P-E-A-K. It was more like S-P-E-A. And then you're hanging on a cord, dangling on a word, and your mouth trembles with volatility, like you're on the verge of imploding. And it vibrates with intense frustration and it feels like nations are watching you fall, peering down with critical eyes at your being of sorrow, praying for your demise, pondering how and why you even tried to speak. Desecrate their ears with your stuff. My stuff. Coiling around my words, slithering like sly snakes, absurd to take my tongue for granted. I thought talking was a wash in the park. Easy peasy lemon squeezy until it became a lost art and that snake kept coiling kept on squeezing, and the venom burned my mouth, stinging like a bee. Those honeysuckle words got trapped like a sticky bitter goo until I couldn't speak, and all I wanted to do was spit it out, they yelled, mimicking my movements. Just spit it out, they screamed, mocking my mama. -ma maybe I never wanted to be this way. Trip over words I can't even walk on, syllables I can't even see, tones I can't even touch. The pointing finger pushes me into insecurity. Don't you see that there are three fingers pushing back at you? You stutter too. I don't even know. Um, I just want to say thank you on behalf of Shipping Hands. We are so grateful and honored to be here and be a recipient. I am so thankful to each and every one of you. Um, we work really hard at our mission and making sure that we take care of the um, physically challenged community, our frontline workers, our wounded veterans, and all of our funds go back to our programs. We are all volunteer and work extremely hard. Anytime somebody believes in your mission and is willing to support your efforts in any capacity, but certainly with dollars, it is, uh, it's instrumental to the work that we do. And uh, when you have an institution like Power Financial Credit Union that is going to say, we're going to not only celebrate all of our success, but we're going to do so by giving back to the community that we built uh, our work in, that's uh, it's, it's next level, especially you know, I'm sure you're going to hear it a hundred times, but coming out of COVID, coming out of a global pandemic, we haven't been able to raise money. We haven't been able to hold events in, in, in person. Uh, folks that normally give dollars have to tighten up their bootstraps. And so for us to go 18 months or what have you without being able to do fundraising the way that we traditionally would, and then turn around and have someone say, hey, look, we want to support the work that we're doing, it means everything.